Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new Art Book Review. So today, we're going to be looking at the uh, N.C. Wyeth Art Book, right? Versus N.C. Wyeth by uh, Kate F. Jennings, right? So if you guys don't know who N.C. Wyeth is, right? Um, I mean, he's pretty big, so, you know, there's a, there's a good chance that you guys know um, his name at the very least. Um, he is one of the old illustrators of the past, you know, a la, um, what do you call it, what's the name, Harvey Dunn, right? Um, he was also a student of Howard Pyle, right? You know, if, like, you know, if, if, the, if that has uh, any significance, you know what I mean, to you guys? Um, he, one of the, one of the best illustrators of his generation, you know? really really big NC Wyeth was one of the um, I think one of the biggest success successes that came from the school of Howard Pyle right um, his work is phenomenal it, like you know it's just just wonderful illustrations right um, a lot of adventure stuff a lot of um, you know uh, going out there into the wilderness you know what I mean a lot of Western stuff really really great um, yeah NC Wyeth Right, like his name is big for a reason. Um, so I got this little book at a um, at a at a little you know art venue. It, it was not an art venue. It was a like a we went to an, an art showing. Right, we were like me and my friend. We were um, you know at a booth showing off our stuff, and one of the booths was an old uh, like antique bookshop. Right, or like you know they, they they got the books and they brought them to the location, and. Um, I was looking through and I found this guy and I immediately saw NC Wyeth and I'm like, well, I gotta pick this up, right? Um, it's not that big, right? I haven't really looked online for the prices. Um, but, you know, he's an artist who I've wanted to explore more um, because I've, you know, I've heard his name here and there a lot, right? Um, I'm not really that familiar with this, with his work myself. You know, obviously I've seen pieces here and there, but I haven't really like dove in to his work. So, um, yeah, I want to do that with you guys today. So, um, yeah, with all that said, oh, wait, wait, no, no. Uh, please, uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, uh, check out my prints and Patreon if you want to support the channel, all that bullshit. And now, with that, let us continue. Alright, let's, uh, let's get into this. So, like I said, um, it's a kind of small book, right? I think it's only like 40-something pages, or maybe even less than that, yeah. Um, but, there are a lot of uh, great images here, so... Yeah, so this is just talking about, you know, his life and shit, right? Obviously, I'm not gonna read that, but we're gonna look at some fine, fantastic imagery right here. So, we got, um... Uh, a Wild West, okay, by uh, Mr. N.C. Wyeth. Let's see right here. So we got two men here. Um, they're they're on a carriage. You know, maybe maybe something's going on. Maybe they're the, they hunt. You know, and um, cause this guy he looks like he's on the ready. You know what I mean? He's he he looks like he's on the lookout for something. And this guy is just like you know he's kind of like pensive, you know what I mean? Or maybe, maybe I don't know. I'm just like, why, why does he have the, the, um, slight bandana on his face? No, not, not a bandana, it's a, I don't know what it's called. Uh, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, he has the face slightly covered up, you know, he's got his, his, uh, COVID mask on, right? Um, don't really know. Don't know if the pandemic was, uh, you know, was all the way back in the 1900s, but, you know, could be, could be Spanish flu, right? Uh, yeah, don't don't want to talk about the unspecified virus of unknown origins right now. But um, let's see, what do we got here? Is I see like a bag here. Is this like gold? You know, I see like a number, something. <clears throat> yeah. But either way, uh, really cool image. I like the I like the moon back here. Um. Yeah, I think this is I think this is all. Pretty sure this is 
Either way, very, very nice. You could definitely see the um, Howard Pyle inspiration, right? And like the like just the way they he approaches his compositions and color, right? It's very, very Howard Pyle. Very nice. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love this subtle purple right here. That's really gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, all the purples are just this ultra-saturated purple. Love that. Yeah. These blues, you know, it's, I'm telling you, dude, like, and now we have the yellow light coming in. That's just gorgeous, man. And you know what? Like, the, the focal point that I really, I really gravitate to is, um, this guy right here. Because he's like, you know, he's, he's red, which really stands out against the, uh, the light. And he's, he's getting hit by the, by the, 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 the cast shadow, you know what I mean? So, he's definitely the focal point right here. Yeah, we get to see a, uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure there's like a bridge troop with, uh, with some natives, right? Maybe they're, um, <clears throat> being taken to the village or something. They don't look like they're being, like, held prisoner or something like that. It looks more like, like, you know, like, oh, let me, let us help you get through the river area. You know what I mean? And then maybe they, like, see they're carrying guns, so it's like... Maybe there's trade happening, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Last of the Mohawkins by James Fenimore Cooper. Private collection for the by Peter Austin. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. A lot of great texture here. Like I said, uh, once again, you could really see the Howard Pyle inspiration. It's kind of funny because I see a little bit of um, of uh, Dean Cornwell in here, but um, yeah, it, 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 that's a result of like you know, like because Dean Cornwell hap like he was after N.C. Wyatt's generation, so um, I guess th they were they were technically alive at the same time, um, but like the like gen like you know in terms of like he's like the senpai right, and then. Um, what do you call it? Dean Cornwell is more like the Kohai. There we go. Sorry. I'm just, I'm like, I can't remember fucking Japanese shit for, for shit, dude. Yeah, really beautiful color shit. The composition is fantastic. You know what I mean? Like, what artistry. Look at that. Gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, wow. Let's see. I saw his horse jump back, dodging a rattlesnake or something. That's funny. It's a blown canvas, 36 by 23. That's a big painting. That's a big one. That's a big one right there. Yeah, oh my god, I love these yellows against this blue. That's really beautiful. Ah, and then like the touches of red here and there. And Yeah, you can see uh, the horse. He's going wild. You know, he's like he sees something. He's like, "Oh shit, dude!" You know what I mean? Um, but it's obscured by the brush. You know what I mean? But um, it creates this really nice mood, and um, I love the expression of the guy. He's like, "Oh, like oh shit!" Dude. You know, like whoa, 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 Bessie, whoa. Let's see. The out, the admirable outlaw. My English friend thought it was a holdup. Oh, okay. So what's going on here? So it's not a holdup. I guess I guess the outlaw is like you know going going next to these uh. Going next to this uh, wagon, but it looks like the okay, okay, because the wagon, because the front, the, the the front seat looks like it's going this way, right? And then these guys are coming this way. So what I'm assuming is that like the outlaws are coming by 
And then like, they're like, listen, madam, you don't want to go that way. That way is dangerous. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's where the bandit camp is. You know what I mean? Even though I'm a bandit, you know? Yeah, you don't want, you want to go near our people, right? You know, so you, you should turn around, go back this way, take this route, you know what I mean? Like, he's giving him, like, giving them, like, proper directions, and you're, like, where are you, where are you heading to? You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, doesn't feel very aggressive, you know what I mean? Um, the guns don't help, the guns don't help, but it's an, you know, this is the Wild West, right? You never know what shit going down, right? So you need your strap, right? Beautiful image. Let's see. This is 38 by 23. What are these weird sizes? Either way, um, very beautiful painting. <clears throat> wow. I love the way they 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 kind of like compress the values down, right? Just to keep it simple. It's more like a it's more like looking at like a, a big pattern, right? But it's still at the same time extremely realistic feeling. Beautiful. I love this blue right here. Blue and yellow, man, I'm telling you. The good friends. Gorgeous work. I love that touch of red right here, too. Wow. Very, very nice. Here we go. Some more uh, whistle. Um, N.C. Wyeth. Uh, I don't like his titles, okay? His titles are... They're, they're very, um... E uh, anime, anime Izakai, alright? City up cross-legged with each hand holding a gun from which came this thin wisp of smoke. And it's like... It's like, you're just describing the image. You know what I mean? It's like, it should just, it should just be like, shootout. You know? Like, uh... Low cover or some shit like that. That's a way better name, by the way. Um, let's see. Bar twenty range yarns. Okay, so I guess that's that was like the magazine this was for. Yeah. Oh, wow, what a what a gorgeous painting, dude. I love the action here. I love the the. The level, like, see, you can see all the the little like marks on the, the on the white and on the sand. Um, that's definitely uh, Howard Pyle inspired. You know what I mean? The the, the use of white is uh, uh, the heavy use of white is definitely uh, something that you get from from Pyle's work. Right? I could I see like. He's got like little blood on his face, so maybe a bullet like whizzed him. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> um. I don't know if this guy's dead, but he looks like he's he's definitely like taking cover or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just going down. What a what a what a horrible title. Okay. Let's see. On this one, let's see. This one's called The Prospector. That's way better. See that? Simple, nice, and look at this composition, man. Look at this gorgeous composition. Nice uh, pure metal, pure pyramidal composition right here. Gorgeous, right? And then you have that you have this repeated in the background, right? You know, creating this like regular, like almost like a pattern, right? And then, um, but you have it like so it's like staggered so that it all leads to our central figure. This is a really, really nice painting right here. This is gorgeous. Yeah, and see how the brown all it kind of kind of just blends together, right? To almost create a pattern, um, which which creates the platform for our uh, principal prospect. Right. You see his little horse right here. Um, but he's just he's just stopping. You know, he's just stopping on the mountainside. Just like, hey, I'ma have me a little smoke. Okay, you gotta give me like a little bit of that tobacco in me. You know what I mean? All right, so he got to, he has his uh, his little pipe right there. You know, he's just sitting in 
I don't know, it's just, it feels so nice, you know what I mean? Like, and it feels like, like, early morning, you know what I mean? He's like, I gotta get out there early, you know? So, but he just comes out with his, uh, with his pipe, right? And just, wow. Just really gorgeous stuff, man. Yeah, this could be the, this could be the thumbnail right here. Because, like, just, wow. Just, what a fantastic composition, man. Awesome, dude. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> the ore wagon. Let's see. From the misadventures of Cassidy. So let's see. So I'm assuming some explosives went off or so something that would create a shit ton of smoke, right? Um, and or maybe they're going through like a sandstorm. Uh, but, you know, he's got this, we got this, uh, this cowboy here with his, uh, with his wagon and, uh, some, I guess, some ore in tow, right? So, you got some precious metals in, um, maybe at the dig site, you know, there's a lot of, like, dust going out because, you know, they, they dig and shit, so there's a lot of, like, piles of sand. Um, maybe an explosion went off, and now there's, like, you know... Like, like, this is a getaway, and he's just trying to... I, I don't know, he doesn't look very... He doesn't look very phased, so... I'm assuming... Um... Either smoke, or a sandstorm, or maybe... You know, some, something of that nature. The, like, for, the, there's... There's a reason why all this shit's getting kind of obscured. But... Um, I like how this composition is very... Like... Like, it's, it's in the higher thirds. You know what I mean? It's very, like... Whoop, at the very top, you know what I mean. Um, almost to the, even to the point where his hat is cut off. Um, so yeah, like like it's it's uh, it's cool to see like like you like the the wagon itself is being very obscured, uh, but it creates a nice mood. You know I mean, it creates a nice sense of mystery, and you're like like well, what's what's that smoke for? Right. Very nice. Let's see. So. We got right here, Bronco Buster, advertisement of cream of wheat, oil and canvas. Yeah, you know, it, like you'd be surprised the amount of uh, cream of wheat advertisements that were made. Um, that 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 created a whole bunch of beautiful oil paintings. Right, that company really appreciated the the, the arts. Right? We got, we got a Bronco who, uh, who, who a little bit too wild, right? a little bit too crazy. Um, so I guess, I guess it's, it's, he's, it's going off, right? And then maybe, um, he was able to, like, lasso the feet or some shit. Because they were, like, maybe, they were, they were trying to, they were trying to get this, this Bronco to calm, calm the hell down, right? Uh, but this guy, you know, he's he's a he's a top dog, right? He knows what he's doing. He's busted a Bronco or two, so um, I like that he, he even pulled up pulled up his hat. You know what I mean? It was like yeah, whoa, shit, man. You know, and like all the the the, the actual um, like people who are who are like caretakers are like oh, like oh shit, dude, that's really dangerous, right? And even even his face, he doesn't he's not he's not paying attention. To the crowd or trying to wow them he's like i gotta get this fucking horse down dude you know but um he's he's still willing to uh do, do a little bit of uh you know showboating right while while concentrating yeah you can see right here that they you can see the mechanics of the loop right here um that you know he's about to uh like the second the, it tightens, it, it's gonna it's gonna pull onto the the horse and, and lock him down, right? Because you know he going wild, man. He going wild. He needs he needs to he needs to be tamed, right? Very good. You know what? You know what I noticed? Um, the sky is green. The sky is green, and I didn't like it. Didn't even like remotely register with me, right? But yeah, like um. 
when the when the sky when the sky is green like that, it almost feels like a like a night scene. You know what I mean? So I'm assuming this is like a night scene, um, where where they have like maybe like some spotlights up or something, right? Yeah, because like otherwise the sky wouldn't be that dark. But I love that that use of like see it's like a, almost like an aquamarine kind of color, right? So like this is the blue and the green. It almost looks like. Like, like, there was, it used to be blue, and then he's like, you know what, dude, I'm gonna make it darker. I'm gonna make it, like, a night scene. So he put on the, the green on top. Um, very, very nice. Awesome work. Love the, love the horse, too. Very, very nice. Let's see, this is made in 1907. 1907. Yeah, this is 06 on, on... Thing. So I'm, I'm assuming that's when he finished it and then it was published in, in 07. Very, very nice. Love it, dude. Oh, wow. Summer Days. Okay, so yeah, okay, alright. So his his titles are getting better, right? Um, this feels very, very French Impressionist, okay? And I love that. I love that. It's like... It's kind of weird because I never, I never expected to enjoy um, the more impressionist work, right? But now it's become, <clears throat> it's become part of my work as well. So it's a, uh, it's strange because <clears throat> I used to be very, very about um, like tightness in paintings, right? I used to be, I'm like, I, 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 I was a very tight painter, but. Um, for me, it was like, like, I, I hated that. Like, I, I wasn't able to get loose at all, but like, as, as I learned more about, um, like the Impressionists, especially the French Impressionists and, um, and illustrators like, like, you know, Wyeth, Dean Cornwell, Harvey Dunn, right? Um, their work is very, it's, it's realistic, but it's also very painterly, right? Also very abstracted you know and like there's a brilliance in that that like like that through through um learning from them i was able to like loosen up a bit and and really appreciate like something like this which is a lot looser right um just wow and like the colors are just beautiful <clears throat> i love how the composition leads your eyes to the to like the mother and maybe her son you know, um, and they're they're not they're not very descript either. You know what I mean? So it's just a nice, simple composition. Very very beautiful. Wow. And the colors are great too. You know, I love that the use of this 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 blue as the shadow, right? Very very nice. You know, it it just creates a very nice moment. You know what I mean? 16 by 20. Hey! Very nice. <clears throat> one, of my, one of my favorite sizes. Here we go. So this is uh, Jim Bl Bloodsoe. Jim Bloodsoe. Jim... It's B-L-U-D-S-O-E. Bloodsoe. Bloodsoe. Jim Bloodsoe. That sounds way better. All right, so um, obviously he is a. I think he's the captain of the ship, maybe, or maybe he's just a worker, right? But he's a he's a big burly man, right? Yeah, smoking a cigar, a real man, a real man's man, right? Smoking that uh that pipe, right? Um, look at that sky, dude. That is that is a fabulous sky. Got all these kind of colors right here. Wow, look, 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 look at the deepness of that blue. That's gorgeous. And right here, in, into the shadow, too. It's just so... So, like, ultramarine. I love it, dude. You know? And then, like, you know, here we have the white to kind of, like, bring it back. And then um, this all, like, leads back into the central figure, right? Even the... 
even the the other figures are like looking at him, like whispering, like oh, 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 I don't know about that guy, right? Um, but they, they this all leads your eye to our principal figure, Mr. Jim Blutso. Right? He has like this nice cast shadow over him. Gorgeous, gorgeous, very very nice. I love the color, man. I love the color. I love that checkerboard. Wow. It's beautiful, beautiful work. <clears throat> Here we go. So, uh, let's see. At the cards in Cluddy Cage. Okay. Um, so, we have two men here. Obviously, probably from different classes. This guy looks more like, you know, uh, Blue collar. This guy looks more bougie, right? Um, but one thing, one thing may connect both of them, which is the the game. Okay, the game of cards. Right? You can see right now that they're, they're they're concentrating very very hard on what's going on. You see, this guy's got his hands on his face. You know, um, can't really see his eyes, but that's okay. It's like it's 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 um kind of left left back. So they're just focusing on the game. You, we can't tell what the tables are or what, what's what's on the what's on the table, but um, it's it's creating like a lot of pondering. You see, they have their drinks here, but they only have one cup, so obviously they're not drinking that much. Um, the the light of out the light of the outside just gently breezing in. You know what I mean? Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this like kind of like slight. It's kind of greenish look, and then the yellow right here. Very, very nice. Awesome stuff, dude. Awesome. Wow, this book is small, but it, it is packed. It is packed with art, dude. Okay, so we got Merlin. Yeah. <clears throat> the sun. You son of a bitch. The Astrologer. Okay. On the fourth day comes the Astrologer from his crumbling old tower. Okay. Yeah, so, um... I guess he's an astrologist, right? He cares about the stars. Right? Is, it, is it the stars? Or the... No, astro... Astrology, is that... I know astronomy is is the study of uh, space, but astrology. That is that particular to like you know like Pisces, Cancer, and stuff. But isn't that like isn't that from the stars? You know what I mean? Like, I don't I, I don't know. Anyway, so we got this old man. He's like a Merlin type, right? He's a he's a wizard, right? Um, obviously, probably doesn't like going outside a lot. You know, but we can see that this beautiful composition. Look at, look at the shadow, the way it leads to him, right? Even in the background, it all leads to him again. Very, very nice picture right here. Wow. Love it, dude. Love this. Love this picture, dude. I just, I just love how, I, li I just love his expression, how he's just, he's so like grumpy. Mm. The sun, you know, like, ugh, I gotta go outside now, you know, I, I, I'd rather be studying my books, you know, researching. Very, very nice. Okay. And then this one, Sir Tristram and La Belle Isolette, Isolette in the Gardens. Okay. It's a sold? It's I I S O L L D E. Yeah, but we, you know we can see right here that um. Oh, La Belle Isolade. Okay, so this is a that's a name. Okay, so um, you know we have we have a, a young knight, right, and a young woman. Um, clearly they've taken a fancy to each other. Ooh, right, very nice. Um, we got this beautiful kind of like moonlight 
coming in right here. You know, but you have this nice cast shadow. Um, yeah, very, very dark image. Not too super saturated like the other ones, but still beautiful. A nice moment between a man and a woman, right? Wow. You know, like maybe, maybe, maybe he's not supposed to be with her, right? But, um, you know, you know how love is, right? I love how there's a lot of these, like, like bushes and flowers, and it's like, they're not necessarily painted, but they're just, like, kind of, like, markings left, like, undone by, uh, by Wyeth. And it, it creates this, like, nice effect. And, like, from far away, it looks like there's, there's some bushes here, but it's actually just, like, paint being taken away from the, from the actual canvas. Right? Creating this, like, kind of nice stroke language. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff right here. I love how the chainmail that he has on, um, it's almost like scales. Right? Like obviously he he kept it really neat right here, but at back here it's almost like just like a like a subtle pattern. You know what I mean? Very, very nice. Yeah, I like this yellow light that's coming just like right here. Just, just wow. Awesome dude. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that pervasive blue. Let's see. But Buttonwood Farm. Alright. That is super nice. I love the I just love the blue. The pervasive blue that goes around. Because it really, it really makes me think of um, of a Howard Pyle's method, right? Which is, um, you know, do do the three value system, right? Or the yeah, yeah, the three value system, and then you uh, play up one color, right? You use one color to like um, be like the color that's like whoa, you know what I mean? Like you, like that's the color that like encompasses a lot of it, right? Or catches the eye, because you can see right here. There's some green right here, but it's there's the pervasive blue um, throughout the entire piece, and it's just that's just wonderful, man. I love the blue of this of these shadows. They're just lovely, dude. Yeah, wow, gorgeous, dude, gorgeous work. Man, I love this tree. I just, I like the, the blues and the tree, ah, that's just gorgeous, man. That's just beautiful. Wow. Yeah. And I like how, you know, it's still kind of bright, but you could tell it's like, oh, this is supposed to be like a night scene. You know what I mean? Like, just using color to give the right sense of, uh, of time of day. You know what I mean? That's just... Beautiful. And there's like these yellows on these trees. That's just gorgeous, man. That's so wonderful. Here we go. So, <clears throat> I stood like one thunderstruck, or as if I'd seen an apparition. Okay. Okay, so this guy, uh, I guess he got he got scared or something. He's like, I saw, I saw me a ghost, you know. I'm like, is the ghost like the- oh, shit, dude. There's a- okay, I was like, I was like, what, what ghost? And there's like, there's a mysterious footprint right here. You're like, what, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, you can see like the, the surprise on his eyes. You can see, like, I, I guess he was, um, he was carrying this, uh, this umbrella, or maybe, or maybe there was an umbrella just, like, you know, sitting there, and he went to go, like, like, oh, let's go, let's go pick that up, fix it up, you know what I mean? Or, and then, boom, dude, footprint, and you're like, ghost? Oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Dude, look at those waves. Wow. Look how they kind of, like, they have that gentle overlap. That's, that's wonderful, man. I'm gonna fucking calm, dude. 
right? And look how, like, despite this being so bright, you know, it still feels like a night scene, right? That's just, just your color. Look at that purple, dude. And how it, like, kind of blends into this blue, into this green, into this yellow. That's just, ooh, that's a beautiful transition right there. I wonder what the basket's for. You know what I mean? Like, what's he keeping there? Is he like a guardsman? Why does he? Why does he have an axe? All right, roll these. Okay, let's see. Robinson's cru cru Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe. Yeah. Okay, so this is this is an illustration for um, that story. I'm guessing. When I think of Robin, Robinson Crusoe, I just think of, like, Winnie the Pooh, but I'm like, is that, is that right? I feel like it's not the main character, like the, the kid. Right. Okay, so, this one. Westward Ho. Okay. So I'm assuming that these guys, you know, they're getting ready for a, a, a journey, right? And so, like, you know, they're... All the, all the, they're just, you know, sitting by the dock, right? And it's like, hey, give me some beers, you know? And then, like, you know, the maid's like, hey, I'll, I'll give you some beers, right? You know, for your journey. Because, uh, they're, they're heading west, okay? You know, there's that, that, that sense of adventure, you know? Wow. Look at these swords, dude. Look at that, look at that guy's cocky expression, dude. This really reminds me of, um, Captain Morgan, you know, like the, the, uh, the beer brand or whatever. Yeah, he's like, ready for adventure. Right? This could be an ad for... for that. Um, one account was courtesy of Brandywine Fantasy Gallery. I don't know. I, I, I think this is like, you know, definitely like... like a, a alcohol advertisement, you know? Or was meant to be. Drink like a pirate! Drink like a captain. Captain Morgan, you know? Damn, dude. See, I'm telling you, dude, like, advertisement was were just way better back then, okay? Because, like, people were like, dude, oh, dude, photos or video? It's like, no. Like, they don't compare, alright? To a fucking stone cold fucking painting, dude? Hell no. Hell no, man. Hell no, man. Doesn't even come close. Scottish Chiefs. Okay. So these are for the Scots. You know. Ready to go to go where to to go to where to go to war with uh with other Scotsmen, right? To go to where. Let's see. You can see you can see um this helmet. It's got this kind of cool design, um where you could see. Where the eye, where you can see the eyes, you know, and like the rest is just used to, to block uh, incoming blows. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, chainmail. That's like that stuff is awesome, dude. Like the what, like, like you know how like video games they have chainmail. It's like it's it, it's not like remotely as weak. As it is in like video games, like chainmail is like strong, dude. You know, it it changes like a, a, a sharp ass sword into like a, just a blunt instrument. You know what I mean? It's the difference between like a a stab and like getting a, a little little paper cut. You know, it's crazy, man. And it's so much lighter. You know what I mean? So it's like it makes more sense to wear overall. Really cool design. Dude. Look how heroic this man is, dude. You see that, dude? Uh, heroic white male? That's out of fashion these days, boys. I'm sorry. But you know what, dude? Gorgeous. Okay? It should, and it shouldn't be out of fashion, alright? A heroic character? Like, you know, of any race. Always good. We, we want heroes, okay? We don't want fucking... We don't want these, uh... Crazy, you know, crazy hair color. You know, I feel like, like everyone's like, like, oh, dude, hipsters, dude, like, like, uh, like Saints Row, okay, like, 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 
we're, we're tired of hipsters, man. You know, we're everyone, including hipsters. Like, hipsters, like, like you know, like, th that's the last thing they want. They don't want to be the hip thing, right? They want to be ahead of the curb, right? So, hipsters being, like, the thing is, ugh, I don't know. It's always been fucking lame to me. Look at this image, dude, okay? Look at this image, dude. This is, whole, this is amazing. Like, wow, look at that. I just love the blue of that shadow, okay? The yellow of the, like, of the ground, just... Oh, so that 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 afternoon lighting, okay? And it's so it's so like like loosely done, but also like so well well realized and well rendered. But look how loose that that belt strap is. But at the same time, look how how perfectly it just sits right right there, dude. Damn. Here you go. Sir Nigel Sustains England's honor in the lists. Right, that that gave me no info. Okay, maybe that's a maybe if I knew more about knights. But yeah, we got these two knights. Um, they're 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 having a duel, right? Well, probably for the king's entertainment, right? Who will be the champion of today? It's crazy that they, like people would just duel and then like you know someone would get like like pretty injured right and they'd be like yield you know and it's like sorry dude I got this big ass fucking you know stab wound now right and like, like all right all right all right all right it's over it's over okay let 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 them duel again you know what I mean that's so cool. you know in a way it's like it's kind of cooler than a duel to the death because like to the death. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like, there's more high stakes, but, like, you know, it doesn't give the opponent the chance to, like, be like, oh, I learned from that battle, and now I'm gonna come back even stronger, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's cool, that's like, it's, it's, uh, it's medieval boxing, right? Oh, I guess there was, maybe there was boxing back then, you know, like, uh, what, what do you call it? Um... I don't know, fighting? I don't know. There, there, was a, there was a name. There was a name for it. I can't remember what it was. Right? Okay. The Giant. This is cool, bro. This is awesome. I like how the Giant is so big that, like, um, the atmospheric perspective pushes him back, right? And I like how it's, like, almost like a cloud, right? So it's like, you see a group of kids who, like, Dude, we saw a giant dude. But like, you know, no one believes. Ah, you bunch of kids. You know what I mean? No, you didn't see no giant, right? It's like, like, if we didn't see a giant, then how did all of us see it, dude? It's like, ah, you kids just imagining shit, right? But then there's like this that actually a fucking giant there, dude. You know? I like that. See, I like that there's kids here because it creates like a, a sense of like wonder. You know what I mean? Like, like, whoa, dude. You know, like, like imagination, right? It's beautiful, man. Like, oh, I like this kind of like this um kind of taper right here. Is this is this for? Really Let's see. Seventy-two by sixty inches. That is a big painting, dude. That is a big painting. Look at how well this painting is done, and so, and and yet it's so it's like it's got that nice texture too, bro. This one's so cool. I, I don't know. I I really like it. I don't know. It just appeals to me like on a little kid level. You know what I mean? Which is the best. It's the best way to go. You know what I mean? You don't you don't want to you want to hit the little kid in you. You know what I mean? Let's see. I got a still life here. Still life with onions. Okay. Oh, dude, onions look way different back then. Or maybe that's just some kind of some weird type of onion, right? Okay, so we got onions. We got. Yeah. I, I don't think there's like a story being told. It's just a still life. Um. I don't know, maybe it's like like poverty or some shit. Given in memory of Clement R. Hoops by his family and friends. Hmm. Maybe he was a big onion guy? I don't know. Yeah. 
But either way, beautiful painting. Gorgeously done. And, and like I said, it has that like kind of looseness that I, I just I just love, dude. Here we go. Old Chris, Mr. Saint Nick himself, dude, he got a big ass nose. He got a big old fucking nose, dude. See, like, you know, this is nice, but after seeing so much Hat and Sunbloom, it's like, like, you know, like, it's like, oh, this is your take on, on Santa, dude, and he's kind of, he, he looks kind of, he looks a little ugly, if I'm not, if I'm, if I do say so myself, you know, you look a little, you look a little, like, worse for wear, Santa. I don't know, I guess this, this is like, just a more, like a, kind of like a t cartoonier take. Right, but like I said, after seeing so much Hat and Sunbloom, uh, Santa Claus, it's like, come on, dude. That that's the real stuff. Okay. Oh. So we're going back to the west, hidden back. Let's see. The Parkman outfit, Henry Challenton. Ch Chatelain, guide and hunter. Okay. So I guess he's uh, he's guiding the, this caravan through these lands. You know, he's like, he's like, I know this place. You know, I know these fields. To the east, there's a riverbed. To the west, there are rattlesnakes. So you best watch out. Damn. I love these clouds. They're so... <sighs> I had a friend who was telling me that, like, um, I live in California, right? So, uh, the clouds are a lot more thin. They have, like, really thin clouds, right? That are, like, they're, they're kind of, like, streaky, right? But my friend was telling me in the Midwest, right, they got these big, giant, like, oh, like, fucking poofy clouds. And so, um, that, that was interesting. No, I, I never, because, like, in, like, you know... Um, most of the clouds I've seen are kind of like, you know, like, they're kind of like, they have like the little, they're a little bit like, you know, like stringy, but these are like, like big, puffy, giant, you know, clouds. And I, I didn't know that it, it, it mattered where you're, where, where they were, because I thought clouds were just like, you know, they're just clouds and sometimes they'll be poofy, sometimes they won't, but, um, I guess in the Midwest they, they tend to be more giant and poofy, right? <clears throat> Let's see, so Francis Parkman. No, no, this is okay, so this is The Oregon Trail by Francis Parkman. Okay. Yeah. So I guess this was probably a book cover. Um, but right here, I I think this is a fantastic image, dude. You know? Look at that blue man. He loved blue, okay? Let's let's like come on. Right? Um, I had another, like, okay, so this, this, it, here's a story from another friend who, um, he, he works, he does all my framing, right, for, like, for my paintings, he does all my framing, um, he told me that, like, he's like, he's like, I think blue is everyone's favorite color, right, because it's so, like, you could use it in so many scenarios, and it represents so many different things that, like, because uh, blue is my favorite color, right? Like, like, you know, not 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 like my favorite paint or anything, but like, you know, like, like, you know, like, like a little, like, 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 if you, like a little kid asks me, like, what's your favorite color? I'll be like, oh, it's blue, right? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's it's like, cause I love I love all the colors, right? I love all the colors, but uh, blue has always been a personal favorite of mine. And I told that to him. And he's like, he's like. It's like, oh yeah, blue's my favorite color too. And you know what, dude? I have a sneaking suspicion that blue is everyone's favorite color, right? And I'm like, I'm like, I wonder if that's true. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm like, hey, what's your favorite color, dude? It's blue, blue, blue. Because like, I feel like blue is like the overwhelming majority, right? Anyway, back to the picture right here. I love how this cloud creates this nice, like, um, backdrop for for his head. Right, and then all these little mountain ranges, they all lead to him, right? Um, awesome, dude. 
I like this, like, <clears throat> very subtle yellow. That's coming in right here. This is kind of like yellow ochre, right? <clears throat> but it's still, it's still being, uh, it's still being taken by the, the overwhelming uh, blueness. It's kind of like, almost like a greenish right here, you know? But he, he always, I, I think, I see, I see a lot of this, like, blue, green, yellow that NC White does, you know? Because, like, there's the green of the shoes right here, right? Um, got the little bit of blue on his, uh, on his, uh, like, little cufflinks right here. Very nice. I've always loved these, like, cowboy, like, stringies, you know? Really cool. I, 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 like, just as a fashion thing, like, 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 can you imagine back then wearing this? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like, it's useful. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I need some, I need some twine. I need some string, you know, just jack, cut it. You know what I mean? Really cool. Wow, look at that gun. It's like a rolling back rifle or some shit. You know? One, one, one bullet load. He has like the beaver hat. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, the sense of adventure, right? And it's not like, it's not like, like, yeah, like, ooh, to adventure. It's like, it's like, it's like, let's go out there into the wilderness and just enjoy the 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 beauty and bounty of this land. All right, and I I, I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Okay. The Indian War Party. All right, so we got we got the boys. You know, it's like, hey, dude, um, they, they they just killed uh, Pohatu, dude. Okay, which is a bionicle, by the way. They just killed Pohatu, dude. Like, it's like this means war. Okay, and they fucking they get the hatchet. God, they hit they hit it against the tree, right? That's that's like that's like near the enemy territory, and it's like it's like oh shit, dude. Better strap up, boys. Okay, we gotta get our, we gotta get our fucking war party going. You know. And they're, like they're all ready, oh, 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 oh. you know, just getting ready, dude. You know the the war drums, right? I could feel. What's okay? What's this weird stuff on the horse? Is that the hair? I think so. Hold on, let me let me look back. Because I was like, do they do they paint the horses too? That'd be a fucking badass, dude. Like a war painted horse, you know. And then the horse itself is like, it's, I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. <laughs> You know, he's like he's like doing some like like some shadow boxing, you know, with his with his hooves, right? He's like, come on, come on. I'm ready for it. Look at that look at that beautiful mountain, dude. Right, it's like Despite the the scene that's going on here, right? There's like the tranquility of the mountain, right? This feels like a very like morning morning light, like early morning. You know what I mean? Very, very like soft white light. All right. look, look at this guy. I feel like he, he is the focal point, right? Because it all, it all leads to him, right? Um, but it doesn't feel like they're, like it's taken away from the other guys. Yeah, look at that basket, like or not basket, like this, uh, like bag. Like what, what, what are they keeping there? You know? Is it like is that his axe bag? You know what I mean? I like these little, like all these cool little symbols. I wonder if they research and like, you know, like, oh, this is the symbol of this tribe. You know what I mean? Oh, this, so this is also for the Oregon Trail. Very nice. Let's see. So this one, cowboy watering his horse. You can't can't take a horse to water, make him drink. You can take the water to the horse. I don't know what the saying is. I do know what the saying is, but I'm like, I'm just not. Gonna Look at this yellow. Look at this this really bright white and yellow, just to just to just to create this nice um, uh, what's called framing, right, for the horse. And we have the focus right here on this 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 horse and the cowboy, right? Very nice. They're drinking from a, a pond right here. Um, and if you'll notice, right, it goes here, whoop, whoop, and then you go, whoop, hey, what is that? That's some Coca-Cola right there, dude. That's some Coca-Cola. <clears throat> so obviously, this was a Coca-Cola advertisement, which they, they didn't mention on here, which, I don't know why. They really should. 
Um, but yeah, like like I'm telling you, dude, this is this is advertisement done right. Okay, right. It's just a beautiful scene uh, with a man and his horse. Right. You know, feels very like feels cowboy. You know. <clears throat> And then you have the you have the, the, the like you know the horse drinking the water and just like just oh subtly a little bit of Coca Cola. Hey, dude, brought to you by Coca Cola. You know, all right? I like that there's all these cows here because like you know he's a he's a what do you call it? He's a ranch hand, right? He's a, he's keeping these cows um, in check. You know, I mean, make sure they're safe. Stopping those cow rustlers from coming. And all of this brought to you by Coca-Cola. Right? See, subtlety, man. Subtlety. <clears throat> Let's see. The first main fisherman. Okay. So we have some Native Americans in Maine, I'm guessing, right? Um and look at the colors here. Man. Wow. Wow, look at that blue. Ooh, that's gorgeous, dude. And the yellow on top, just like, oh my goodness. Wow. Look at the saturation of those, the, the background, man. Look at those, those powerful yellows just coming in, right? Wow. Look at, look at the pose of this guy, dude. He's concentrating. He's, he's, he's looking. Through the water, dude, to, to see, like, through the waves, like, he's like, do I see a fish, dude? Okay, wow. Okay, you, and you can see, he got, he got a few already. He, he brought his son, you know? So let me, let me teach you the ways, okay, of the fisherman. Right, I like that he's got these kind of cool shoes. Damn. You know, they always depict, like, natives being, like, like, shirtless. Was it, like, but was that the case? I feel like... Like, you know, because it's, you know, it's Maine. Maine is cold, right? Like, I, you wouldn't be able to, like, just walk out like that, right? I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, like, summer or something, you know, it's hot, it's hotter. That's cool. I like how he has the foot over the string, right? As to uh, prevent the, the, the thing from getting lost. Oh, and you can see right here that the arrow, um... It's actually shaped like a spear. It's got the barb, you know. It's to, you know, it's a hook, right? This is very nice. This is a beautiful image right here. Uh, I don't know why, but Native Americans, dude, always great to draw, man. Always great to paint. They're just, just, just really good subject matter because it does like a, there's, you know the tribal. <clears throat> here we go. So, Coca-Cola calendar illustration, awesome. So we got a boy here, you know, and his dog, and he's like, hey, I'm gonna go fishing. I'm gonna go fishing. I'm gonna go by the creek. Get me a little fish, you know, Bob be real happy. You know? yeah. Drink Coca-Cola. It's the refreshing thing to do. Come on, dude. Come on. Like, what, what's a Coca-Cola ad now? You know what I mean? Like, nothing, right? Oh, dude, hold on. There what there is a really good Coca Cola ad that I just thought about like, um, like there's a Coca Cola ad where there's like one bottle of there's like there's like a bottle of Coke no no no, no. okay wait, no. there's a can of Coke fighting a whole bunch of cans of Pepsi right and then there's like there's like a Coca Cola bottle who's like like you know like the the woman right and like like and she's being she's being guarded by like hundreds of Pepsi cans and then like this one Coca Cola can is like kicking every all these Pepsi cans asses dude right. Um, and in the very end, he saves her, and then he drinks her. <laughs> I'm just like, I was like, did you kill her? Like, I, I don't know. Is, it, is this what was supposed to happen? You know? But it's, um, I, I saw it, and it was like, it had like, um, it had like the, um, Tokyo Ghoul theme attached to it. it it's hilarious, dude. Yeah, just, just look it up. Like, Coca-Cola anime or some shit like that. Coca-Cola ad anime or some shit. It's hilarious. But yeah, look at this piece, dude. Look how wonderful it is, dude. See, like... 
like, imagine, like, you're from, like, a third world country, and you just see, like, this image, right, and you're like, you're like, wow, dude, you're like, America is the place to be, dude, right? Like, I feel like, like, America in, like, those, like, those, like, the early 1900s to, like, the, to, like, 1950, not 1900s, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, 1900s. You're, yeah, I'm right. I'm right. I'm like, I'm like, am I, am I saying it wrong? I was like, no, that would be 19th century, and I would be wrong. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> the 1900s, dude. Right. From like 19, 1900 to like 1960s, 1950s. Right. That like that time of art. Right. Like, I feel like it really, really helped create this idealized image of America. Right. Like the, it's the kind of America that we. We envisioned like we what we what we wanted to envision, you know what I mean? Like like wow, dude! Like they, I feel like you know like all those, like you know like the people were like make make America great again, you know what I mean? Like they they think of these times, right? And like these images, okay? Like that idea, like you know like Norman Rockwell, shit like that, you know what I mean? It's it's that it's that classic American illustration look, right? That is so like it's it. It needs to come back, you know. It needs to come back because um, it gave. I feel like it gave the people something to strive for, you know. Like and, and, and it like you know it like it gave you a sense of pride in the country. You know what I mean? And like and like other people would see it and they're like they're like like from different regions. They're like, wow, dude, look at America, dude. Like, damn, bro, I want to be. I want to be like this kid, dude. Going out there fishing, dude, with my dog, dude, and a little bit of Coca Cola, dude. You know what I mean? Coca Cola is the refreshing, dude. Damn, bro. You know? And it's like stuff like this that make Coca Cola uh, a worldwide phenomenon, right? It's, it's amazing. It's amazing stuff, dude. I really miss this time, dude. Even though I, I never, I never, I wasn't even alive, bro. Okay, I wasn't even alive, but I miss it, dude. Okay? It's almost like, 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 you know how, like, Looney Tunes, like, Bugs Bunny, and, 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 uh, Tom and Jerry, all those cartoons, like, they're so, they're so, like, eternal, you know what I mean? Like, you watch it and you're like, ah, dude, I'm having a blast, dude, you know? I don't know. Lewis and Clark, here we go. America in the making. Beautiful. Yeah, so we got Lewis and Clark right here, they're off to adventure, we got, we got, um, what's her name? Pocahontas, there we go. I was like, I was like, come on, Sean. Remember that shit, dude. Pocahontas. You know, she she ain't your traditional butte, okay, but you know, she's she's helping them on their on their way, right? It's like you know, again, it's like she she knows the land, right? But she's helping these travelers go about their adventure. Beautiful. Look at that, look at that blue, look at that green. Look how it mixes with this yellow, it's just, wow. Tell you, dude. Ads were just better. Ads were better. This is for a calendar. This is for a fucking calendar, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. George Washington at Yorktown. Okay. So they're having a, you know, um, <clears throat> George Washington as a general. Um, you know, like you could argue that, like, you know, some, like a general should be out in the front line, but at the same time, it's like to properly lead, you know, a huge swath of people like that. You gotta be, you gotta be far back to be like, okay, well, like we gotta reposition these guys to go over here, over there. You know what I mean? To to look at the bottle. The battle from like from from a far distance from high up you know what i mean so yeah it's like he's he's leading right the men the the men in the front they, they they don't know what's going on they don't know how the battle is just from like like in like as a result you know what i mean it's like like you know when you play like an like an rts right it's like you know you're you're, you're assuming it from the commander's you know view right 
yeah, where to place troops, where to where you know where to go back and forth. It's so. <clears throat> so I don't think a general should be in the front line. You know what I mean? It's it's not really smart tactically. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that heroic stance, dude. Right, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this Kansas shit! This is so cool, dude. I like how the smoke trail leads up to to our to our principal character, to our first president. Which is also cool because he was a great president. Which is like you know we, which is a <laughs> hard to find nowadays. Okay, hard to find. Say what you want, like for for our first president, like he actually did a really good job. Wow. Awesome dude, awesome. Love the colors too. I love how like it goes from this like blue and then like kind of comes down and becomes warmer and warmer until you hit this like nice warm spot right here. And this is so roughly done, but it's like, wow, it's gorgeous dude. Gorgeous. I thought they put these like wood planks just like, you know, just to make it easier. Just walk around, you know. Beautiful. Okay, so we got a beautiful little image with some uh, some of these birds, right? Some egrets in summer. So I guess these are egrets or egrets. Egrets, egrets. Yeah, just a. A nice, beautiful, uh, peaceful piece, right? See, I like how they put this is this is right where the the seam is, so you get a nice, you get a nice full view. You know what I mean? Wow! Look at that. Let's see, eighty-two by a hundred and fifty-nine inches. In, in, Inches. So this is a big ass image. This is huge. Okay, this is like let's see, 159 inches. Let's see, divided by 12. So this is like a 12 foot painting. This is like a 12 foot painting. Wow. Wow. Probably used as like a kind of like a like a semi mural. You know what I mean? But Jesus Christ, dude. Look at that. It's just peaceful, man. It's it's just nice, like the greens, like the blues. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just nice. It's a nice image. Nothing nothing too special, but nothing. But it it, gi it gives a, a nice feeling of serenity. You know what I mean? Beautiful piece. I love the reflection right here. Yeah, not much to say, but <clears throat> uh, a gorgeous piece nonetheless. Okay, so Captain John Paul Jones. John Paul Jones. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. Look, look as he leads his men. He's like, aim the cannons, fire! Up! <laughs> Like, you could feel the energy. You know what I mean? Hold! Hold! Captain, they're getting too close! Hold! Captain, now! You know, like, damn, bro. You can see, you can see right there. You can see the opposing ship with all these holes through the, the canvas and shit. Like, holy shit. Cute, like... Like, like, I know, okay, so I know, like, you know, there's video games that, like, you know, they have, like, the, the captain and the, the pirate ship and shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, and that, that one other pirate game that I don't like, um, what is this? No, it's a Sunless Sea? No, 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 it's, um, the cartoony one, you know? It's, like, open world that everybody, that everybody likes, but I, I don't like, um, I can't remember, whatever. Um, I feel like even then, like, they don't really, they don't really capture the, the, the boat battle experience. I mean, they do, but it's like, it's not like, 
It's not like here where you have like like you have like 20 men, dude. You know, and they're all under your command, and like you know, like you have to load, like everyone has to load up, and you have to like like steer the ship while also like bring out like position wise, but then also leading your men. You know what I mean? And standing tall, dude. You know, and like the sound, right? I like like because you know, in real life shit's fucking loud. Okay, shit is like like you wouldn't even hear shit, dude. Okay, and so like like. Like video games, like they, they, like it's loud, but it's not like like deafening loud. So he, like, it, it would be cool if they had like a like a pirate sim game, right? I'm like I'm sure this exists, and I just don't know about it. But, like it's like a pirate sim, where like you know you have like your AI crewmates or some shit, right? And you have to like lead them, but it's like all first person, and you're, like you're like right up in the action, right? And so when you and you could see your boat getting crazy damaged, you know, but you like you're like like oh. I gotta aim for, for for their their mass, dude. I gotta aim for this, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and it's just an unleashing, like a flurry of cannons all at once, dude. You know what I mean? And then just hearing that deafening, like, boom, 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 you know, like you can't hear, you know, it's like it's fucking. That would be so cool, dude. Right? Wow. And like you see right here, he's got the he's got the thing. He's like, you could use that to aim and shit. That would be so cool, dude. That'd be fucking badass. Look. Yeah, this picture's so cool, dude. This picture's so like manly. You know, I love it, dude. I love it. All well, this, these whips, all these whips of smoke. And <clears throat> is this on wood? Let's see. Oil with some oil with some areas of tempera. Okay. So this is on panel. Yeah. So to get these scratch marks, um, this this is this is not easy. Right. This is something you typically see more on wood, right? Um, maybe he used the tempera for that. You know, because like, like, I'm like, why would you use tempera if you have oil? You know what I mean, but like, these, they have all these cool little little marks here. So I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm assuming that te they, he used tempera to to create these marks. Right? Beautiful, beautiful piece. Wow. Awesome. Badass. Let's see. <clears throat> she makes a grand light. Okay. Oh. So I'm assuming, you know, may maybe, maybe, uh, maybe these guys are like, uh, the opposing force or some shit. You know what I mean? And like, ah, we just got our asses beat by Captain John Paul Jones. You know, like, you know what were you expecting? And it's like a it's a bittersweet scene, right? Where the crew sees the the ship burning, you know, and it's like, you know, it's it, obviously it's a solemn scene, but you know, it's like, hey, you know, at least she makes for a grand light, you know. It's like, and all the boys are like, you're damn right, you know what I mean? Damn. Wow, look at that blue again, just wow, and the flame of it. Just, Right, and it all highlights this this uh, this guy right here who's you know shirtless, right? Showing off that that beautiful masculine figure, right? Wow. wow. And I love how the islands here kind of create this zigzaggy pattern to see he like he's the focal point actually, right? Um, or he's he's one of the focal points, right? Because like all of this leads to here. And then like this goes here, but it also goes back, right, with the with like you know the eyes of the <clears throat> the eyes of the, the the actual subject, you know, of the figures. They they look towards the ship, so it, like it's like it, you know, you're going back and forth, back and forth, right? Gorgeous, dude. Beautiful composition, beautiful piece, dude. Wow. Really reminds me of um like you know in Star Trek. Right in the movies, there's like there's like an episode. There's there's like I think in the movies, um, the 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 Enterprise gets destroyed, right? And like <clears throat> and like um, you know William Shatner, all, all all the you know Spock, everybody, Captain Kirk, they all they all land, um, and then they 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 they, they see the ship. Like like burning up in the atmosphere, like leading to like you know an eventual crash, or they teleport to the, the surface, right? And you can see the Enterprise, like you know, crashing down into the planet, right? And you can see the 
the solemn look on their eyes as, as like you know the ship that they've had so many adventures on so many so many great memories gets destroyed dude you know and and not in a fast way in a slow way like 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 the way the ship is burning right you know like it's still there but like you, you can't do you know you can't do anything you know, you know it's lost right Beautiful, beautiful moment. Man. There we go. Mrs. Cushman's house. Right, she, she's the the biggest the biggest weed producer in, in all of Maine. <clears throat> Tempera. He did this in Tempera? What? Why is he do why is he working with Tempera now? What the hell? Hold on. Is it done with Tempera? Oil and canvas. What the hell? This, this is what Tempera do? Like, wow. This, okay, like, this means nobody to, this means nothing to anybody who does art, but like, or who doesn't do art. Um, but Tempera is a terrible medium. Okay, it is, it is, it is a medium that is, is not easy to use. Okay, it's very permanent, you know, it's very, like, liquidy, you know, it's like, it's, it's it, it doesn't blend well, you know. So it's like like seeing something like this with all this like subtle stuff, right? With tempera, I'm like I'm kind of amazed. You know what I mean? Like, wow. <clears throat> yeah, tempera is not an easy medium. This is 20, 21 by thirty seven. Yeah, that's a big one too. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is just a. Just an image done for, you know, just just for fun or maybe like you know like as a commission. But either way, it's really nice, really really beautiful piece here. Okay, the last of the chestnuts. Oh, is there? A... Nope, no, no, this is the last one. <clears throat> yep. So I'm guessing these were these, you know, a bunch of chestnut trees, but now they're being converted into like houses or something. I like that this is like footprint path. Right now. It almost feels like it's been it was done on a by a via plain air. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's just a nice image. Right? Just a nice, beautiful image. I love the blue, the pervasive blue right here. Yeah, gorgeous piece. Yeah, and that's it. That's it, boys. That's the end of uh. It's the end of uh, Mr. N.C. Wyeth for right now. You know, hopefully, um, I can find some more books with him or his uh, or his peers, right? Uh, but it's a nice little short book, you know, uh, packed with a lot of powerful imagery, dude. I like that the images are big, right? Um, it's not all of his work, you know, but it's just a nice, you know, selection of his work. Right? Um, but yeah, so let me show you the side view right here. You can see, like, oh, it's actually a very thin book, you know. Again, I got this for like three bucks, so like <sighs> that was a steal. All right, let's flip this over, enter the review portion. All right, guys, let's enter the review portion for uh, NC Wyeth by Kate F. Jennings. Right, um, it's a nice little book, man. It's a nice little book. It's a nice sample of uh, NC Wyeth's uh, work. You know, um, I wasn't very f like you know. I know of N.C. Wyeth, I know like his contemporaries, right? I've, I've studied like, you know, his, like the other people around him, but I never actually like looked at that much at his work, right? And so it was nice. It was nice having, you know, an experience to like seeing N.C. Wyeth's work, you know what I mean? Seeing why he's held in such high regard. Um, his work is fantastic, man. Really, really great stuff. His colors, awesome. His compositions, bomb, dude, you know? So it's like, you know, like, like bomb as in good, you know, obviously. Um, but just really, really fantastic work, man. Fantastic stuff. You know, I really love it. I really like it. Um, this book, I got it super cheap. I don't know if it's, it's, this book is probably not expensive now. You know what I mean? This, this is like, this is an old book, right? Um, but yeah, like, you know, if, if you guys want this book in particular, I'm sure you could get it for super cheap, maybe like 15 bucks. Uh, 20 bucks, you know what I mean? 10 bucks. Even, even then, like, you know, it, it would be worth it, right? 
Um, I got mine from like you know this you know used book place, so it's like you know it's it's, it's just one of those you know chance findings that you get. Um, and I, I really liked it, man. Really, really enjoyed this book. You know, um, it's a short little book, but it's packed with full of fantastic, powerful art. You know, and it's a good size too. So uh, not page wise, but like you know like actual you know page size. I think it's I think it's fantastic, dude. You know, so I could easily recommend this book. For, for any of you art lovers out there, um, if you guys like, uh, you know, art from from the from that early 1900s, you know, um, this is a fantastic addition, dude. If you like Harvey Dunn, you know, if you like uh, if you like uh, Dean Cornwell, if you like um, Meet Schaefer, if you like Howard Pyle, you know, how like like I said, he he was the um, most successful student of. Howard Pyle, right? Not, not, you know, and like he's not like uh, my favorite, you know. Like Harvey Dunn is probably my favorite student from uh, Howard Pyle, but, but you can see why N.C. Wyeth became the most popular. Right? His work is just breathtaking. Okay, breathtaking. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed his work. I hope you guys uh, check him out. Right? Check out N.C. Wyeth. Just, just look at his work in general. Right? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So uh, please, if you like the video. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe, um, leave a comment, tell me how you guys feel about N.C. Wyatt's work, right? Is, is blue your favorite color, right? Um, ring that bell for notification, check out my Princeton Patreon uh, in the link below if you want to support my channel, all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.